Welcome back to Dream Builders. I'm Scott Morgan. The co-housing community of Liberty Village in Maryland is nestled in this scenic rural setting. But what if you want to bring some of the beauty of nature inside your home? Steve Greenberg went to Southern California to learn the art of building trees. Take a look at this beautiful old tree on Gary Hannock's patio. Well, to me, it's very evocative. It reminds me of when I actually lived in, in the mountains in Southern California, and we had surrounding us incredible towering uh, oak trees and pine trees. And to me, it's the perfect tree snag that somehow survived in the forest, even after being weathered by years and lightning and everything else. But this tree was not really weathered by lightning or anything else. In fact, this tree was not made by Mother Nature. Instead, it was made by a company called Nature Maker. Bennett Abrams is the director of design, and he says his company isn't in the business of making fake trees. Rather, they make lifelike tree sculptures. We give birth to the tree. We don't take something out of a box and glue leaves on it. That tree birth is a fascinating process. Each tree is conceived at a drawing table and then the design is manipulated with the help of a computer. Once the look is agreed upon, a custom framework is welded together. Whether the tree is 20 feet tall or 80 feet tall, it's all done in our studio. We do them in 10-foot sections. Next, a mesh is applied to the framework. Then the artisans apply a secret formula, which we'll call bark mud, to the mesh. The mud is then sculpted to create the cracks and crevices you'd find in real tree bark. Here, they're working on a smoother bark. And to add some character, here's a knot hole under construction. Next, the tree trunk and branches are painted. Then it's time for some leaf magic. And when they finish, they can end up with a tree, any size, any shape, any type of tree. And what really sets these trees apart are the amazing details. It's all detail. It's all taking the time to think out each moment of the skin that is growing on this wonderful living creature that you are convinced is real and we have created for you. And probably what's most amazing is the feel. These faux tree sculptures truly feel like real trees. When you touch it, you are completely convinced that it is absolutely growing, has been there. I think most people who initially, when they see it, they, they interpret it as a, as a real tree until I explain to them and actually have them touch it. Even when they touch it, they still question me whether I'm telling them the truth or not. Many times, these trees are used in commercial buildings to hide a structural column. The function is beyond just uh, a pretty. It, it's. Uh, definitely serving a purpose to either express the environment that it's in or in many cases to hide an unflattering element that would be considered an obstacle. At the same time it brings a carefree natural setting indoors. Now the cost of a single tree sculpture can be anywhere from twenty thousand dollars to a quarter of a million dollars or more. These trees will go up in value. They do not go down in value. Each one is an original, one of a kind. There is no two alike. But for Gary Hannock, his patio sculpture has been nothing less than tremendous. It really completed the whole sense of what I wanted to create of outdoors. To me, it was more art and sculpture and done in an entirely different way. And I happen to be a lover of trees and nature, so it just totally completed the sense that I wanted to create. So Mother Nature may have cornered the market on real trees, but thanks to artistic talent and imagination, the business of faux trees is certainly growing. Part of my enjoyment of it is explaining to people all the detail and all the hand craftsmanship that went into creating that piece of art. I see nature itself as sculpture, and this is just the most wonderful recreation that I can have in my own secret garden. <laughs>